Hello, everyone. Runner85 here, bringing you my build for the seven-star Dark Terra Incineroar Raid. So I went with this Polyrath build. It is a water fighting type, and it is a physical attacker. And uh, yeah, the reason for it is Incineroar is going to use fire moves like Flare Blitz and dark moves like Darkest Lariat and Snarl. And those are all resisted here. Water resists fire, and then fighting resists dark. So that makes it really uh, a good pick to kind of survive Incineroar's attacks. And then also Polyrath gets Belly Drum. So that helps it be really effective at boosting its attack stat and just hitting hard. So this is a fighting Terra type Polyrath with a Shell Bell held item. Make sure it's at level 100. And then for our ability, I chose the ability Swift Swim. Polyrath gets Water Absorb, Damp, and Swift Swim. And so of the three, Swift Swim seems to be the best. That means your speed increases in the rain. We are naturally faster than Incineroar here, so we will actually move first anyway. So we kind of don't need the Swift Swim. But Water Absorb doesn't help because Incineroar is not hitting us with water attacks and Damp. Uh, also doesn't help because Incineroar isn't exploding or doing any of those types of moves. So that's the reason for that. This is a modest nature, meaning plus, no, I'm sorry, not modest, uh, adamant nature, plus attack minus special attack with a 252 in HP, a 252 in attack, and you put the four in defense. Since Incineroar is a physical attacker, give yourself a little bit of a defense boost there. You could also put a bunch of your um, EVs into defense if you want. I chose HP because we're just going to keep healing up that way when we do Drain Punch and with our Shell Bell. And our moves are going to be Drain Punch, Rain Dance, Taunt, and Belly Drum. Now for Drain Punch, make sure you PP that up to the full 16, given that it's our only attacking move. And depending on your partners and how Incineroar is behaving, you may need most of those to get through this raid if you are doing it solo. Now, all my builds are solo builds because I try to do these on my own. And so if you have friends helping you on this, it'll actually go a lot faster. Now, um, the plan of attack for this is going to be simple. Incineroar comes in and it's going to intimidate you. That's its hidden ability. Then it's going to snarl everybody. And then it's going to taunt one of the four Pokemon on the field. So you have a 25% chance of being taunted. If you get taunted, you should run and reset. Reason being is Incineroar is just going to bulk up in your face and it's going to be at like plus four attack, plus four defense. And it's going to be really hard to take it out because you don't have a way of lowering its defenses. So your physical attacks are just not going to hit that hard. So that's one downside to this build. And I'm sure other builds will come out that are a little better. But given that this raid has been out for, what, about five hours now, this is the one I found to work the best for me. I've tried a bunch of different ones. So if you don't get taunted and Incineroar taunts one of your rivals, then you're going to taunt Incineroar turn one. And that's going to prevent Incineroar from bulking up. And then turn two, you're going to rain dance. And that's going to cut all of Incineroar's fire attacks, namely Flare Blitz, in half. And then you're going to drain punch until Incineroar resets your stats. And that happens pretty quickly. Within the first minute or two of the raid, Incineroar is going to reset your stats. And it will never reset your stats again. So you're free to then belly drum. Now, belly drum takes half your HP. So you need to make sure that you have enough health to survive the next attack from Incineroar. Because otherwise you're going to get knocked out and you don't want that. So you may need to drain punch before belly drumming to heal yourself back up a little bit or do a health cheer to make sure you're at good health to belly drum but if the rain is up then incineroar's fire attacks are not going to hurt you that much so kind of keep that in mind now the other important thing is you need to watch the taunt on incineroar so it lasts for three turns so you need to kind of keep track of that in your mind and and make sure you press Y and go up to Incineroar and check to see if Incineroar is still taunted. Because you want to keep taunting Incineroar until Incineroar puts up its shield. And that will prevent Incineroar from raising its, its attack and defense by doing bulk ups. Which means your attacks will hit super hard if it hasn't bulked up. Once Incineroar starts bulking up, your attacks don't hit as hard. It's going to take you even longer to get through the raid. 
So keep that in mind. If you're doing this with a bunch of people, I highly suggest one person is designated the taunter and the rain dancer and the support person. And that way, everyone else can focus on attacking. So, like I said, uh, keep track of the taunts. Once you are safe to belly drum, belly drum, and then drain punch until you can Terra, and then Terra fighting drain punch till the end. And that's basically it for this raid. Uh, it is pretty simple if you happen to get all those pieces put together. It's not foolproof, obviously, because Incineroar can just taunt you turn one. You know, not even turn one. It's turn zero before you get to even move, which is unfortunate. In my testing, it happened about 50% of the time, which is funny because there are four Pokemon on the field, so it should be about 25%. But it was about 50% of the time, so that's kind of annoying. But I was able to catch my Incineroar, as you'll see in the battle up ahead. And so, yeah. I hope you enjoy this build. If you like it, I'd appreciate a like, a comment, or subscribe on my video. And look forward to more seven-star builds and VGC battles ahead. Thanks, everyone. Good luck on catching your Incineroar. Alrighty, let's do this seven-star Dark Terra Incineroar raid with our Polyrath build. So as a reminder, Incineroar is going to start off on turn zero before we can even move by snarling and taunting. So there's a 25% chance you get taunted. If you get taunted, just run. It's better if it's almost impossible with this build to get going if Incineroar can set up a bunch of moves. So if we get taunted, we kind of have to run with this build. So in my in my uh, studying and planning for this, Incineroar taunted me about half the time. The other half the time, Incineroar taunted my partners. So we shall see what happens this time. So the Intimidate... Uh, onto Incineroar from Arcanine, and then it in Incineroar intimidates us, but it doesn't actually matter. We're not going to belly drum until later. So once again, let's see what happens. Okay, here comes the Snarl. It misses. It misses. Okay, that's fine. Those are actually special attackers, so that's probably good that it missed them. All right, who does Incineroar taunt? Okay, Incineroar taunts Arcanine this time, so we're good to go. All right, so we taunt and then we rain dance. So turn one, we taunt. This prevents Incineroar from bulking up. And we're gonna pay attention to the taunts and keep Incineroar taunted so it cannot bulk up. Oh, it's been burned, that's even better. It's gonna do no damage. Sweet. Alrighty, now we're gonna rain dance. Alrighty, our stats have been reset, that's great. We can then belly drum. So I set up Brain Dance first. There, it's doing nothing. I'm going to heal first by doing a Drain Punch. So I can Belly Drum in the next turn. I need to check the Taunt too. Because I need to keep Incineroar Taunted. So you check the Taunt by pressing Y. We resist this. Yeah, and as you can see, with Incineroar being burned, its physical attack is cut in half. All right, so we press Y, and we go up to Incineroar, and it's not taunted anymore. So now I need to taunt it. And then I'm going to Belly Drum. All right, so now I belly drum on this next turn. All righty, and now we are going to drain punch to heal back up. And we should be able to taunt Incineroar on the next turn again. So we'll double check that. Once Incineroar puts up its shield, we can no longer taunt it. So keep that in mind. It can get burnt still, though, through the shield. Because the burn comes from the... Oops, I didn't want mine. Yep, so let's taunt it.
The burn came from the after effects of flamethrower from Arcanine, so that can go through the shield. So hopefully we can keep it burned. That keeps its attacks very low. All right, I'm gonna drain punch again until I can Terra here. We're keeping ahead of the timer, which is great. Ooh, it's gonna steal some Terra charge. That sucks, but it's manageable. It's eventually going to reset its stats, so we have to watch for that. And there goes the shield, so I cannot taunt Incineroar anymore. And you can see the burn went away because it's about to reset its stats. So we Drain Punch again, and then we should be able to tear out. It is going to be able to start flare, or bulking up soon, which is not great. All right, can we Terra finally? Yes. All right, Terra fighting Drain Punch at plus six. Incineroar has not been able to bulk up yet, so it is at neutral defense. And I think, believe it's still at minus. Oh, no, it's not minus one attack anymore because it was able to reset its stats. So let's see how much damage this does. So this is a super effective hit into a dark type Pokemon. Nice. Look at that damage. So once again, as a reminder, we needed to taunt to keep Incineroar from bulking up. And it's going to Earthquake us. We will survive because it has so little attack right now. It wasn't able to bulk up. So I could set up Rain Dance if I want, but my goal here is to try to get ahead of any future bulk ups. It's going to reset stats and it might start bulking up on us. So my goal is to keep Drain Punching here. Break this Terra Shield as quickly as possible. Not bad, but that is a little less damage than before. We are back to full health, which is good. It is doing more damage, so I think it got a an attack increase. Or I guess the negative one attack got... Oh, it just got burned. All right, we're good to go. <laughs> it is attack has now been dropped in half. And we're in business now. All righty. All righty. One more drain punch should knock out the shield here. Oh, almost. Very close. But we are ahead of schedule here. There's a bulk up. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting that. But so this is going to buff its defenses, but its attack is not really going to be that much higher given the burn on Incineroar that cuts its attack in half. So this will break the Terra shell. Yep. There we go. And then hopefully just one more hit here. Might take more than one. We'll see here. Yep. One more. We're close. It got that bulk up in, so it was able to buff its defenses a bit. All right, one more Drain Punch, and then we've got it. Oh, that wasn't even enough. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so close. Another bulk up. So we could have taunted it once the shield broke, but at this point, it's burned, so not doing a lot of damage and it just got knocked out by our partners as you can oh i guess not quite the, the the health bar is at zero but it's actually not at zero i guess there now it's for sure done all righty we got it so this build's pretty easy to work with i think the taunt at the beginning is annoying so i'd highly recommend if you get taunted just run join back in again 
and wait to not be taunted again. Because that's... It, it makes it really hard. Once Incineroar is able to bulk up three or four times, we have a physical attacker. So unless we can reset Incineroar's stats, then we're kind of screwed. So Poly, uh, Poly, we're, Poly Wrath does get haste. So we could use that. So, all right, let's find a good Pokeball for this one. Which one do I want? Um... Mm, I don't know. I have them in fastballs already. I think I'm going to put them in a beast ball because Incineroar is a beast. Let's see what kind of good, re hopefully good rewards we got. Some Urban Mystica, hopefully, for some shiny hunting. All righty, okay. One, herb one bitter Urban Mystica, not bad. Our ability patch. Ooh, two ability patches. Look at that. I'll take those. I need those for my VGC builds. Ooh, three ability patches. Dang. One, two. No, just two. <laughs> it went back up to the top. It's late. It's been a long day. So thank you, everyone, for sticking around to the end of this battle. I hope this uh, build works for you and you're able to get your seven-star Incineroar. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a like, a comment, or a subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Happy battling.